Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nelia. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own DIY lace closure wig with some of these Amazon bundles. Super affordable, super easy for a beginner. I got you. Let's get started. Okay, let's start off with these bundles. So here I got the brand Amela from Amazon, Amazon Prime. No, they did not sponsor this video, but I bought this with my own money and I got three bundles, a 10, a 12, a 14, and a free part lace closure, which is um, also 10 inches. So I'm just showing you here the packaging, which is very neat, very nice. And this texture is a Brazilian curly texture. So I start off all of my wig making with washing the bundles. That's super important. You know, just want to get anything that's on them off. And I just use um, a conditioner. I just co-wash them, I guess you can say. And I just use the Pretty Strands conditioner. And I just kind of rake my fingers through it, rinse it under the water, get all through it. I like to keep them in the elastic. That's just my preference because taking it apart just makes it harder for you so here I am just brushing through them with a denim brush and just getting that conditioner all in there and while I'm doing this I do get a few strands of hair that have come undone but it's not something too horrible but it's a really pretty texture Now I was all in love with this brand till I took the closure out and noticed the closure was a completely different curl pattern than the bundles as you can see here. And this is unfortunately very common with these affordable bundles. So I do work with it, but that was pretty disappointing. Now let's get into the tools you need. So this is my favorite brand of wig caps. This is the Q-Fit Extra Large Stretch Mesh Dome Style Wig Cap. And then I got a needle and thread set. This is all from Amazon. As you can see, it comes with the curved needle and black thread, which makes it super easy to sew on the tracks. And this is my canvas dome head in the circumference of 23.5 inches because that's the same size as my head. So I got this specifically for me. And again, you can find this on Amazon. You'll also need a wig stand and you can find this on Amazon or a beauty supply store. And this kind of goes on any surface, any table surface that you can just screw it on really tight and then boom stick your little canvas head on top and you're ready to go Now we're going to get started with the closure and as you can see the wig kind of has a triangle part in the front and I like to lay my closure alongside of that. Now no matter what kind of wig I make, gluing or sewing, I will always sew down the closure. I feel like that's a really essential part of any wig. It just keeps everything in place and, you know, if anything happens, at least your closure is sewn down. <laughs> so here I am just using some pins to pin it in place on top of the canvas head and then I will follow with some sewing. Now you want to keep the lace closure, the edge, to line up with the edge of the wig cap as you'll see soon. And yeah, it's basically just simple stitching, nothing special or spectacular. Now I started doing the wig by sewing the tracks, but I was in a rush 
this day and that was taking a little too long so I'm just showing you here just like a few tracks that I did I think it was, I did one bundle sewn down and I just kind of like spaced them apart but no worries we're gonna break it down but this time we're gonna go use glue yes glue I'm using a hot glue gun regular degular or I've seen people use the you know weave glue but I like the hot glue gun method better this I only use on bundles that aren't that expensive you know I'm not gonna ruin them or anything and hot glue is just quick easy we're gonna finish this wig in like less than 30 minutes so to prevent the wig from actually gluing down onto my canvas block head we're gonna put down some parchment paper and let me tell y'all this is an amazing trick this will prevent anything from sticking to each other and causing a mess so Basically, you get the idea here. Stick down some parchment paper and put the wig cap back over it. Now, if you thought making a wig before was hard, no, 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 no. Check this out. So you just want to stick the tracks along where you glue. So here I let the glue lead the way. I have it going from right to left, left to right, and I just stick the track right on top of the line of glue that I had down. And you just want to go back and forth over your wig cap. It's super simple. And as you can see, the glue gets on the hair. No worries. Don't fret. It's okay. The super the hot glue actually comes right off the actual hair and it's super easy you'll see in a second here I'll take some of the glue off the hair so no worries about that it's super simple you want to get the glue that dries clear I know gorilla the gorilla what is it gorilla glue <laughs> they also make glue sticks and I heard those are amazing for making quick wigs so check that out as well but yeah as you can see here I'm just taking off the hot glue and it comes right off no problem here's another angle for you just showing you how I put the glue down in the line and then quickly place the track and it's stuck it ain't going nowhere Now eventually the tracks that you started from the bottom will come to the top and start to meet the closure and here is where you actually need to snip the tracks so they can fit into these little crevices and completely close up the wig so that's just what I'm doing here again super easy and also just a review on the Amela hair it's not giving me any issues of tangling or anything like that but the closure is just it's just not the same texture and I just had to pin it up and get it out the way because it was bothering me so I definitely think if you do want to try this company out leave their little quote quote Brazilian closure out of it and just use the tracks because the tracks are awesome they did not give me any problems and they're gorgeous soft no smell all that great stuff So I usually always have some of a bundle left over so here I go through my wig and I just see like big gaps that I made on accident or on purpose who knows and I go back and glue more of the whatever track length is left just into those gaps just to make the wig more fuller and you know you don't want to have big gaps in the back of your head so here I am just filling in the gaps with some glue and we're basically done. So here we are a few days later and I'm just showing you guys the lace closure again because I tried to pluck it just a little bit to get that natural hairline and the lace completely ripped in half as you can see right there. Super disappointing. Luckily this unit is curly so it's more forgiving and it's a free part closure which means just because this side split I can always move it over to another side but as you can see look it's completely torn which is crazy. So as I said before don't bother with the closures but I'm gonna try it on for you guys and as you can see I have a new part on the other side just kind of combed it over <laughs> but yes let's get to work shaping it Ooh. 
Now if you look closely, you'll start to see how the front part looks a little looser in texture. Again, that's the closure, but we're gonna try to blend it in, make it work. And um, it was longer than this, but I had cut it previously, and now we're going back to cut it again. And it's funny because as time goes on, you'll see I kind of cut it in the shape of my actual real hair. <laughs> Old habits die hard, I know. So here I am just fluffing it out and then trying to get more of a round shape to it instead of such a square shape. So I'm just pulling different layers and snipping and snipping. There's tons of ways you can cut and shape your hair. You can also dye this hair. I noticed that this color was really dark on me. I thought it was a natural brown, but it's more like a 1B kind of thing I'm noticing. So here I am just trying to fluff and scrunch it up. I do show you later what products I use on the hair to get the curls popping, but the lace closure besides, you know, being a whole different curl pattern and the lace being super sensitive did lay pretty well flat on my part. So I didn't have any issues with that specifically, but here I am all done fluffing it up with the makeup that always makes it better. And it's just so funny. Like I said, it just literally looks like my hair <laughs> just the same shape and everything so here it is a fun little easy DIY lace closure wig I definitely say check out Amala at least for their tracks closure life mm, you know you might be better off with a U part but here it is here's the back the curls are really pretty and I use the Camille Rose curl maker gel I noticed this gel worked really well with the curls, just getting them to shine and form and pop. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more questions for me, that's something I might have left out in the video. Please let me know down below and I'll definitely answer that for you. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Please give me a like if you liked this one and subscribe. Join the family if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.